What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. A couple weeks ago when the Phase 5 news started to surface, followed by that full release date slate by Marvel officially last week, I made the point that it's interesting we're only getting news about the theatrical releases and none so about the Disney Plus streaming shows, knowing that those shows are going to work lockstep with whatever movies they put out in the same year. My basic sentiment being, if they're starting to talk about the new theatrical releases, then we should hear about the TV shows sometime soon. That's why it was no no surprise at all when this new leak hit 4chan within the last 24 hours implicating a brand new season of something like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but this time rather an Agents of S.W.O.R.D. headed by none other than Nick Fury with the return of Agent Coulson basically setting up that S.W.O.R.D. orbital base that we saw in the post credit scene of Spider-Man Far From Home. While it's a rather short leak, there's a lot of things about this that make sense even down to who's directing and writing it. We're going to break the whole thing down but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're giving away two PlayStation. 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, including limited edition Infinity Saga box sets. We've got our hands on two here at the channel to give away throughout the holiday season. All you have to do to be entered to win the PlayStations or any of the other stuff, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So last we saw Nick Fury, or should I say the first time we've seen Nick Fury since Winter Soldier, that debate for another video, I'll make sure to link at the end of this. But the last Last time we saw the real Nick Fury in the MCU was in the post credit scene for Spider-Man Far From Home in which he was located on the S.W.O.R.D. base outside of Earth's atmosphere, S.W.O.R.D. standing for Sentient World Observation Response Department. And this goes a long way in explaining where Nick Fury has been this entire time as well as Agent Coulson if they do choose to bring him back into the MCU and we're going to get to that but before we do a reminder this leak is coming from 4chan one of the most anonymous sources out there. Take it with a grain of salt. Nothing's official until it comes from Marvel, as well as light spoiler warning. We've had some really correct stuff come from 4chan recently, so if this is in any way going to ruin your Phase 4, Phase 5 experience, you can go ahead and back out now. But diving right in, Marvel Studios is currently working on CGI for an eight-episode Disney Plus series for Phase 4 with the working title S-W-O-R-D, or S.W.O.R.D., and the first episode was written by none other than John Favreau. Leading actors include Samuel L. Jackson, Kobe Smulders, Cameron Monaghan, Kathy Catherine Winnick and Nicholas Hout. The supporting actors include Paul Mendelssohn, Sharon Blinn, Clark Gregg, Chloe Bennett, Ming-Na Wen, Natalia Buckley, and Jeff Ward. The newcomers, Cameron Monaghan, will play a Victor Cole as the lead protagonist who is an inhuman, and the twin sons of Thanos will be villains played by Catherine Winnick, Supergiant, and Nicholas Hout, Thane. I am told the supporting actors will have less than five minutes of screen time across the entirety of season one, and that's important because those supporting actors include a ton of actors that are from the non-canon Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show and although Clark Gregg, Agent Coulson has been present both in Avengers 1 and canon of the MCU and some of those one shots that are also canon as well and then obviously the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show that's not canon at all, having a couple quick cameos to tie those characters back in could be light homage to that TV show without messing up the continuity too much and much in the way some of these actors from the Netflix shows have done a lot of good work it could be Marvel Studios choice to include them now of course none of us would be upset seeing Agent Coulson present on the sword base and there's a little bit of a twist here we had argued originally when first we saw the Spider-Man Far From Home post credit scene that this beach right here that Nick Fury's in front of is the beach Tahiti a very poignant and pointed reference to the Tahiti project very much on purpose the Tahiti project being what brought Agent Coulson back to life on the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. after he died during Avengers 1, it was a project involving an infusion of Kree blood, much like what happened with Captain Marvel, and it's my guess we're actually going to learn a lot more about that. It definitely takes the whole quote-unquote death thing for superheroes off the table. They've already figured out a way to bring people back. We're guessing that's what happened with Nick Fury, and if the show is truly in pre-production or will ever hit Disney Streaming Plus, hopefully we'll get to see a little backstory on that and know just how long Talos has been an imposter for Nick Fury in the MCU. Either way, the biggest takeaway from all of this was the subject matter between Talos and Fury the last time we heard them talking on this orbital base he said hey everyone was asking where the Avengers are 
we can't keep up this charade for much longer. Obviously, Spider-Man is still in a rocky place after the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. We need an Avengers team. So if they're truly putting this show together and John Favreau is writing it, much like how he wrote Iron Man 1, setting up again the main protagonist for the first Avengers team, then the thoughts probably are over at Disney's Marvel Studios. Let's catch lightning in a bottle twice and let him set the tone for the next Avengers team. He's definitely killing it with the Mandalorian. Now, the other very interesting mention in this leak was the twins of Thanos, rather super giant and Thane, more members of the Black Order that we were originally introduced to during Infinity War and it would make sense that after Tony had wiped out whatever was left of Thanos' army on Earth that if there were any more of his Black Order roaming the galaxy that maybe Captain Marvel and the sword base would hone in on those threats specifically considering the tie they had to Thanos and what revenge they may be seeking. Now what's also interesting was they brought up an Inhuman and Supergiant has a ton of crossover with the Inhumans. It would make sense they would introduce both of these different realms and families during this show much how they're going to see the Inhumans into Miss Marvel, at least that's what's heavily rumored, and then you start to build this team in the TV shows instead of having every team have their debut movie. Either way, this is a ton of stuff to put into one TV show, and if they truly are going to do a sword series, this is the place that they would set all this up. This is why having Disney Streaming Plus is an amazing addition to the MCU. The fact that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios can find the time to do episodes to focus on things they could never fit into a movie just means for us we get much more world building and a chance to see some of these main but supporting actors like Nick Fury and or Loki who are always acting on screen with some of the main Avengers to get to carry series of their own. One final thought I'll leave you with is I definitely opened the Pandora's box when I mentioned that the last time we saw Nick Fury for real in the MCU was on the sword base but before that perhaps during Winter Soldier. There's a bait and switch that happened with Talos at some point during the MCU. It's been done exhaustively examined exhaustively through theories on YouTube channels like mine and Reddit alike, with mounting evidence pointing to the fact that when he died during Winter Soldier, Talos inserted himself at that point, and they may have resurrected him using the Tahiti Project, but what has he been doing with his time? That's why this sword series could focus as a prequel on where Nick Fury has been in lieu of him not actually reaching out to the Avengers. While we thought we were seeing him through the majority of the Infinity Saga, he may have been off forming the sword base in the interim, make two of himself so that he can double his amount of work. And I think that there's a good chance that they're going to need to explain a lot of that through backstory, making a sword series the perfect opportunity to do so. You may have heard rumors recently about Samuel L. Jackson doing a Star Wars TV show as well, a Mace Windu led series, and although that's definitely very much still in the rumor mill, these TV series for a lot of these actors become a more and more attractive thing. They can do a lot more with their own character, like I said, get a chance to showcase where a lot of the time for even some of these bigger name actors, they are lower down in the totem pole as far as an ensemble goes, and that's why I think Jeremy Renner wasn't upset at all when he got approached by Kevin and Feige about doing a TV series instead of a one-off movie. Now he's going to get the chance to do lead actor role stuff throughout six or eight episodes for an hour long instead of one film for two hours. If anything, it's a lot more work and for your portfolio. Also, it's a lot more TV shows, a lot more screen time for your character. Again, that becomes a very attractive offer to a lot of these characters who have only had ensemble time and less roles than, say, your Robert Downey Jr.'s and your Chris Evans. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. First, the validity of this leak. Do you think there's anything realistic to this at all? That being said, do you think there's a place for a sword series? And would it make sense to set up all of this stuff that's implicated with the leak, both where Nick Fury's been and how he was resurrected? where the switch happened with Talos, what's going on with the Inhumans in the MCU, what's going on with whatever's left of Thanos' Black Order of Children, if Thane and Supergiant are truly still out there, and of course, what could lead into Captain Marvel 2 and a secret invasion plotline if you've truly had scrolls running around on Earth doubling for S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 550 thousand subscriber mark we're already on a great start to that should hit that by next month's end all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes we're giving away here at the channel like the
the limited edition Infinity Saga box sets. We've gotten our hands on two here at the channel to give away throughout the holiday season. They are completely sold out, limited in production number, and now selling for almost double on eBay. If you want to be entered to win either of those as well, same rules as the PlayStation or any of the future prizes we give away. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with some notifications turned on, then leave a like and a comment on this video, and the more videos you like and comment on, because it's truly random, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman, this is everything always guys, thanks for checking out the channel, and stick around, we'll be posting again real real soon.